Hi, Marcus Squires here outside of the Ramada. The former Ramada Hotel in Petersburg, Virginia is a controversial edifice at the center of the war on blight in the city of Petersburg, which some say is bringing down the image of our city and the Commonwealth of Virginia here in Petersburg, a city with rampant blight. And according to a recent report from the Progress Index, over 20% of our structures in this city are empty, which puts Petersburg into the top 10% of vacant and blighted cities in the United States of America. Petersburg, we have a problem. Currently, the city council and a portion of the populace just want the blighted eyesore demolished. But will its demolition solve all of the issues of our city? No, it will not. But what it will do is ensure that Petersburg is out of essential tax revenue, which is being collected from this building. But wait, the city and council are stating that this building is a public nuisance and safety issue. They are saying that the building is not stable. We can all agree that the building looks appalling, and the city made the case that the building is not secure and a public nuisance. But couldn't the city just secure it? So I dove deeper into the story of the building, and it turns out, if the building is tore down due to the Department of Environmental Quality's watershed regulations, nothing will ever be able to be built on that spot, creating another large void in our municipal tax map, affecting our entire tax base here in Petersburg. A few months ago, I was contacted by one of the original engineers who was responsible for one of the only valuable portions of the building left, the steel skeleton. When I asked the engineer regarding the city council's effort to seek a court order for the demolition of the hotel, and if it was necessary, his remarks were that the skeleton is stable and it would take about half a century of neglect and exposure for the skeleton to be compromised. So why would our government and council not try to buy back the building if they have, according to recent reports, many developers who are vying to buy the structure? Petersburg, are we looking to the future or just what is at the tip of our nose? Will demolishing this building bring wealth to our city or cost the future generations much needed tax revenue and jobs that would be created if the building were to be developed? The city council has the ability to enact the Fifth Amendment of the Constitution's last clause, called the Taking Clause, whose powers are ratified at the state level due to the 14th Amendment's last clause, known as the Due Process Clause. The Supreme Court has found that if a legislative body has found that an economic project will create new jobs, increase tax and other city revenues, and revitalize a depressed urban area, even if that area is not blighted, then the project serves a public purpose, which qualifies as a public use. Part of the Fifth Amendment's last clause, the Taking Clause, requires just compensation, which brings fierce debate regarding the expenditure of funds, as the city does not wish to grant the developer any additional funds. But what if the city of Petersburg does not follow the traditional exchange of cash method as the form of compensation may come in the form of some return benefit given to Harrison the developer, such as an increase in the value of retained land when the improvements are made to the blighted hotel. When Harrison promised to develop the hotel, the city of Petersburg sold him surrounding parcels of land and buildings with improvements next to the hotel in the deal to redevelop the gateway of the city of Petersburg. If the city goes after Harrison for just the hotel, they could claim that the just compensation would be the improved value of his retained assets from the original sale of the parcels from the city. Some critics may say that the exchange will not be fair, but it is as just compensation cannot be deemed to be an injustice to the public. The sites have deteriorated since the exchange and an improved hotel could dramatically increase the values of the surrounding properties. Council also has the ability to enact the reversion clause and buy this building back for $750,000. Why not also look at that option and then sell it to all of the developers at the gate? Should we kill the golden goose by demolishing the hotel? Petersburg, what do you think?